In recent years, a huge number of games have been released that feature the ability to create items. The feature has gained incredible popularity, and many developers prefer to use their own approach to introduce crafting into the game. We have compiled a list of such games where you can have fun with crafting. A space survivor with an open world, ready to open doors for you to an endless procedurally generated universe. You can do whatever you want, become a fighter, a trader, or a researcher. It's up to you, because No Man's Sky doesn't have a developer-defined goal, it's up to you. Getting to the center of the galaxy, hunt space pirates, find rare resources, and sell them for a lot of money. Please, do not want. No one forces. The game gives the freedom to follow your own choices. Craft is used and upgrades of three things, weapons, ship, and spacesuit. In your travels, you will find different variants of these items, different layout slots used for upgrades or storage items. Different types of ships are suitable for different styles of play. For example, a merchant has a larger cargo bay that increases the volume of goods carried, but it is slower than a research starship. Guns and spacesuits cannot be changed, only improved, and they have their own slots. Survivor, welcome to a world destroyed by nuclear war. Fallout 4, a role-playing game with a huge open world, hundreds of locations, characters, and quests waiting for you. Here you can be a loner, or join one of the factions and even build your own settlement. Everything is in your hands. Crafting in Fallout 4 requires materials that can be obtained by dismantling items on the workbench. Disassemble all the junk you do not hesitate. Workbenches, by the way, are also different. There is a separate for weapons, for armor, and even a chemical laboratory, where you can quickly weld yourself stimulants, grenades, and incendiary mixtures. On the weapons workbench, of course, weapons are dismantled, designed, and improved. And on the armor workbench, the same can be done with clothing and any kind of personal protection, from leather riveted jackets to power armor. Meat carved from the Badlands carcasses can be prepared at the stake and furniture, buildings, and other structures, including defense Defensive mechanisms can be made at the workshop. RimWorld is an amazing sandbox in which almost everything is generated at random. The player controls a group of people who, having suffered a spaceship crash, are forced to survive on an unknown planet. Not only will they have to save their lives, they will have to organize a whole tribe. Craft plays an important role in RimWorld. Gamers will need to build a shelter, grow food, build weapons, medicines, and more. For this, of course, you need to extract resources, the variety of which is impressive, from conventional boards to rare metal alloys. RimWorld is not friendly to casual players. It is quite hardcore game because it takes into account various details. For example, one of your settlers might have a drug habit, and if he doesn't get the dosage, he'll start breaking everything. A farmer's simulator with RPG elements. After inheriting an abandoned farm, the protagonist moves to the Stardew Valley and begins a new life. The player has to deal with various tasks, plant care, animal breeding, ore mining, and time for crafts. An integral part of the gameplay, obviously, is craft. The user has to create many items to advance their economy. You will think, and what in Stardew Valley such unusual? The game has a social component. The character can visit a neighboring town, communicate with non-player characters, help them, and even have a wife. In addition to farming, you can engage in cooking, fishing, exploration of mines, and so on. first-person zombie action from Techland. Games are famous for their realistic graphics and unusual approach to the genre. The player will not be able to feel like the Terminator and crush zombies left and right. His character is constantly tired. It is not so easy to punch a zombie skull, and the weapon is constantly breaking. Fortunately, you can always make new ones. 
Warcraft and Dying Light and Dead Island is another advantage of these games. The gamer can create a variety of weapons, from hand tools, from wood with nails, to electric bits with a circular saw. The amount of weaponry and the imagination of the developers are impressive, and it makes you a dangerous hunter of the walking dead towards the end. The Valheim Survival Adventure Simulator offers to indulge in the body of a Scandinavian warrior and explore a vast island full of dangers and secrets. The game combines the mechanics of several genres. So, on the one hand, you will deal with the typical survival by collecting supplies and building a shelter. On the other, you will be able to explore the mysterious world and challenge mythical bosses. Craft in Valheim is not the last place. The mechanics itself is trivial. Looking for materials, we open the recipe and at the push of a button we get an object, but pleasantly pleases the number of things that can be created, and the extraction of resources will have to work. For example, trolls will need the skin of these creatures for armor, and they are able to kill a literal with one blow. Subnautica's incredibly beautiful survival simulator will send you to explore the ocean of another planet and build a base in its depths. With the help of a tool with a primitive name Builder, you can create a cozy shelter and in manufacturer to engage in crafting. Creating items in games of this genre is integral, and in Subnautica, it plays a central role. Crafting involves the creation of various materials, electronics, equipment, and tools, as well as cooking. For example, cylinders of different capacities will allow you to go deeper, and industrial items such as a floating air pump, pipe, and others will be useful for improving the base. In general, in the atmosphere of underwater adventure with such craft, you will dive with your head. The Long Dark is a research survivalist in a vast icy wilderness, experiencing all the charms of a geomagnetic disaster. You will have to confront the cold and the dangers of wildlife. In this game, you can create weapons, clothing, and other survival equipment from anything you can find. The process itself takes place on a workbench, which is quite often caught in the buildings encountered. Each item, in addition to materials, will take some time. You can make rabbit traps or deer hunting onions, from whose skins you make clothes that will save you from the deadly cold. It is very important to monitor such things as the calorie counter, hunger and thirst, fatigue and body temperature. First aid will help you patch up your wounds, and you never know if a pack of wolves or a bear will jump out from behind the trees next. Another open-world horror survivor in which the player is the only survivor of a plane crash, and he fights for his life or dies in a mysterious forest full of mutant cannibals. The craft consists of combining materials, resulting in a new object. To do this, it is necessary to place suitable materials in the middle of the inventory, and if they are arranged in the right order, under them there will be equipment. The right click on it confirms the creation, and the object falls into inventory. For example, if you want to scrape a Molotov cocktail, you need to put a rag and alcohol in the inventory center. By right clicking will appear a window with options of crafting, and a new right click will provide you with a dangerous incendiary projectile. The game even has a multiplayer if you want to spend deadly nights with a reliable companion. In the future, new territories for research and even more terrible opponents are planned. Dismantle is a zombie apocalypse survival project. The gamer must take control of the hero and ensure that he remains in one piece. The main activities proposed by the developers will be resource search, shelter development, interacting with other characters, shooting monsters, and craft items, including tools and weapons. <sighs> Thank you. 